Hello British Vogue, my name is Daisy Edgar Jones and this is what's in my bag. First of all, my phone, which comes with me everywhere and I usually lose quite a lot. My keys. I have a very handy bottle opener and then this is a cat kits and key ring I've had for probably about 15 years now. <laughs> Some ibuprofen. This is amazing. This is Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. My friend Chloe bought this for me because I've been filming in a place called Calgary in Canada, which is such a beautiful place but incredibly dry. So she bought me this and it's been my lifesaver. This is a hygiene key so you can open doors and things and boop buttons and not have to use your hands. It's very useful in today's climate. There's a lot in this bag. <laughs> oh, this is great. These are my glasses, and this is a wee sort of glasses case, which is handy because it doesn't take up too much room. I've had these glasses for years. They're from Paul Smith. They're a wee bit Harry Pottery, but I quite like that. This matches my shirt, which I'm very chuffed about, and it's an avocado <laughs> that you put in the microwave, and it's a wee hand warmer. Similar to uh, needing moisture, I also need warmth because Calgary can get quite cold. They even have, in certain parts of Alberta, hair freezing competitions because it gets so cold that your hair can freeze when wet. So maybe I'm going to try that next time I'm there. This is um, not what you think it is. <laughs> it's a um, moustache shaver, which is, very handy to have round, especially because in my line of work, sometimes the camera is very close to your face. And look, we all have, you know, a moustache and sometimes we need to remove it for certain occasions. And that comes in very handy if that's needed. This is my wallet. I don't tend to carry cash, so this is sort of perfect. It's got everything I need in it. It even has a picture of one of my best friends, Becca, which I'll show you very quickly because it's not the most flattering picture but it's great. She looks really cheerful. <laughs> when I'm feeling sad or lonely or miss my friends, I look at this and it always makes me smile. This is a really lovely uh, Yashica T4 point and shoot camera. It's weatherproof, so that's handy. I've been keeping a scrapbook since I was very small. When I remember, I try and take pictures that I can physically have and put in my scrapbook, so that comes with me everywhere. Similarly, I love music. Especially when you're like in the makeup chair in the morning, it can be really great to have some music playing if you're feeling nervous or anxious or just want a good vibe. This is a tiny speaker. It's a Lexon Minnow and it's really loud. So, you know, if you want to have a little bop, you can just put this on, bring some nice vibes. This is the book I'm reading at the minute, if I can get it out. When I'm working, I find it hard to read fiction um, because I get uh, so lost in the story I'm telling. And same with TV, I have to watch reality TV because um, I can't watch uh, drama when I'm working. <laughs> That's my excuse. But anyway, the book I'm reading at the minute is called Please Yourself, How to Stop People Pleasing and Transform the Way You Live. I need all the help I can get when it comes to um, not being too much of a people pleaser. And I found this to be very helpful and I feel very seen. And I've found that I think I might be a pacifier people pleaser, which means that my people pleasing can sometimes be more about a fear of getting it wrong than a desire to get it right, which I definitely relate to. This is actually a really nice um, thing that I got bought. It's a one line a day diary. And basically you write a line every day of the year and then you do that for five years. So you can sort of see what you were doing this time last year, for example. Let's see, this is a nice entry. I pretty much spent the day in bed today watching Made in Chelsea. So that's great. This is my everyday perfume, it's Champs by Chanel. I heard once a story of an actor who bought a perfume specifically for her character and so she would have a different perfume for every character she played. It'd be quite fun to pick what your character's perfume would be. My character's perfume, me Daisy, is Champs Chanel. This is a mask. This is um, my diary. I can't remember what happens day to day unless I write it down. And this is a great diary. It's a sort of projects and goals diary. My initial entries were so organized. Um, I was in quarantine in Vancouver at the start of this year. So I had a lot of time to make it really neat. So I, I highlighted and made a key of things I was doing in the week. And now it's sort of, um, yeah, it's sort of lost all sense of shape and uh, organization. This is a pair of headphones. I've been listening to a lot of New Order and a lot of 80s actually, because the project I'm working on at the moment is set in 1984. These are really great. I've suffered from acne since I was 16. It's been sort of um, aggravated a bit by mask wearing. You can just pop them on your spots and they 
uh, shrink them. And then this is for any sort of mark that's left for dark spots. So I would recommend. This is uh, my favorite mascara. It's Hourglass and it crumbles off when you put water on it. So it doesn't sort of smudge. This is a memory stick <laughs> that has house music on it in case the opportunity comes and I can plug it in and play some music. I feel like in the times we're living in, we have to take any opportunity to bop if we can. This is probably the most important thing that comes with me. It's called an AeroPress and it's a um, portable coffee maker. So you still need boiling water, but you've got your little cup and then you just put coffee in, let it brew, and then you sort of press it in. And basically the pressure of the steam, something about that makes it a bit closer to an espresso from a machine. It tastes really nice. That's great. And if you don't have one, oh my gosh, I'm going to change your life. And finally, in order to have good coffee, you need to get the perfect coffee bean. So I always carry coffee. This is a new bag I bought recently from a place called W Martin, which is a wee coffee shop in Muzzle Hill. This is nice to have because it reminds me of home. And that's everything. It was quite impressive. <laughs> Very impressive. I think if my bag were a character, maybe it would be Q from James Bond because there's quite a few gadgets. Uh, it's quite organized. Um, but it's also a wee bit chaotic. If I were to challenge someone to do in my bag, it would be Paul Meskel. I don't know if he carries a wee handbag, but if he does, I'm curious to know what's in it. Thank you for watching. That was what was in my bag. <laughs>